Leading off our top five is Darius Vick's longest completion of the season. Vick drops back and sees the rush coming, scrambles to the right, keeps his head up, and finds Brendan Cope deep downfield. Cope catches the ball on the 49-yard line but runs an extra 24 yards for a 58-yard gain. Ohio will take the victory 17-14. Next is Vick again, but this time to Chase Cochran. Cope starts out in motion and is keyed on by a Marshall linebacker. His hesitation allows Vick to step up in the pocket and connects with Cochran for 53 yards, his longest reception of the season. Vick places the ball perfectly in the basket to ensure he's the only one who can catch it, and that completion was Chase's 13th career catch of 40-plus yards and has since increased that number to 15. Vick threw for 200 yards and a touchdown in Ohio's 44-14 loss. Now switching to the defensive side of the ball for Quentin Poling. Idaho looks for a quick in route, but Poling spies the quarterback and keeps aware of where the receiver is. He keeps both the quarterback and the receiver in sight, jumps the pass for the interception. Poling has been an exceptional defensive player this season and leads the team in three categories with three sacks, three interceptions, and 47 total tackles. All three interceptions came against Idaho, and he also had 14 tackles in Ohio's 36-24 victory over the Vandals. Back to offense for one of J.D. Sprague's longest eight-yard runs of the season. After the pocket collapses, Sprague steps up and manages to find a hole and break free. He evades three Eastern Illinois defensemen with quick jukes to break into the outside for an Ohio touchdown. Sprague rushed for 69 yards and two touchdowns against the Panthers and added 143 yards in the air. The Bobcats take this game 34-19. And finally, our number one play. A.J. Ouellette plants for a cutback outside the right tackle and inside EIU's contain man. He comes in contact with the pile 10 yards downfield and immediately protects the ball and escapes two tackles. The Panthers secondary does catch Ouellette, but goes for the ball instead of the tackle, allowing Ouellette to find the end zone. Ouellette earned his first career start against East Illinois, rushed for two touchdowns and 92 yards on just 11 carries in that game. He currently leads the team with 297 yards on the ground. And even though the Bobcats haven't had quite the season they were hoping for, homecoming could be just the spark the Cats need for the rest of the season.